don't really want them to do this to me. I felt so judged by that doctor. She was like, you need to wear condoms because you probably have an STD. Hi guys, I'm Mar and today I'm so freaking nervous. Today we are going to be going to the worst rated gynecologist <laughs> I don't even know. I thought of doing this when we went to the worst rated plastic surgeon. And I, I mean, why am I doing this to myself? But yeah, give this video a thumbs up right now because my lady bits are gonna be taking one for the team right now. I feel like that guy from Fire Festival. But honestly, going to the worst reviewed gynecologist, I have a lot of feelings because I went to a gynecologist once and he was really bad. So I feel that that kind of prepared me for this because I know what to look out for. And one of the things was that this guy told me that there was an exam that I didn't need because I just, didn't need it because of my age or whatever, but that he could still do it because insurance would pay for it anyway. And I told him that I didn't want to get it done because I didn't need it. And then he insisted. He was like, yeah, you should get it done because your insurance is gonna pay. And then he basically asked me to get it done. So it was weird and it was really uncomfortable. And I was really happy that Gordo happened to be there in the room with me because this was a man. And I was just like, it felt that he wanted to be up in my lady parts. You know what I'm saying? Just because of the way he had been like so insistent and I had said no. And then he kept saying like, basically like, yes, you're gonna get this done. But I don't know, I'm really not sure if this could be worse than that time because that was the one time that I was the most uncomfortable at a doctor's office ever, like ever in my life. So we'll see how this goes. But yeah, let's get started. All right, you guys, so this is actually a woman gynecologist and this is funny, but I've only been to like one woman gynecologist in my life. I know some people prefer women, some people prefer men. I've only been to like one other female, so I don't know if that will change my experience in any way, but she has a lot of that review. Reviews. So I'm gonna put the reviews up here for you guys and you guys can pause them to read them in more detail But I'm just gonna kind of sum them up for you guys one star beware this doctor has no patience and is very cold She prescribed me a medication and the medication just basically didn't work Another one star and this one really has me feeling for this person because she says horrible She coldly informed me that I lost my pregnancy and missed scary then she left the room and didn't return for 40 minutes and then the person says she, that the doctor looked bothered when she was asking her questions. I mean, she had just had a miscarriage and this doctor was just like, I don't care. So people are saying she's cold over and over again. One star, I waited for an hour and 45 minutes without anyone updating me or apologizing. I got 15 minutes with the doctor. And then she's saying that basically everything took forever because she had to get a follow-up exam. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, this was just zero stars. So this person will give it a zero stars, but one star is kind of like the bare minimum you can give. Don't waste your time. I've had the worst experience with this physician's office and the billing company. I've heard horror stories after the fact, speaking to my lawyer about this currently. Speaking to my lawyer. I mean, there's a lawyer involved in everything. Oh gosh, I'm getting really nervous right now. Another one star, terrible doctor. I'm really curious as to why anyone would rate her five stars. So she misdiagnosed this person's unborn child without even looking at them and then still charged them. This is crazy. Oh my God. So this person is saying that she apparently had preeclampsia during her first pregnancy that she had with this doctor who was taking care of her throughout the whole pregnancy. And then the doctor didn't say a thing and it was a really dangerous pregnancy. And when she had her second child was when she told doctors kind of like what went down with the first pregnancy. And the doctors were like, well, you for sure had this and it's a dangerous condition. That's terrible. People's lives are literally at risk with this doctor. Honestly, I'm confused how somebody like that could be a doctor because to be a doctor, I mean, it's hard to become a doctor. You have to care about people and I don't even understand if you're misdiagnosing people if literally their lives are in your hands or you're doing your job wrong where you're putting people's lives at risk I don't understand how this person has a license right now but I'm gonna go I'm gonna see for myself and I'm gonna let you guys know hi guys okay we're on the way to the worst rate at OBGYN I am so nervous I don't know what she's gonna do I feel like she's scary so we'll see I'm just gonna say I'm going in for a regular checkup I guess my annual checkup already started a little strange so they have parking but you have to pay cash only for parking yeah that's but you get a ticket that's so strange yeah I don't know I thought it was gonna be free because it looks it looks really legit. It's a building, like a medical building. But you gotta pay cash. I hope we don't have to pay cash for the appointment. That I hope not. Taking one for the team, you guys. <laughs> All my lady bits. Oh god. <laughs> Privacy, right? What's that notice? I don't see that notice. 
Do you know what that is? What's that? Oh, yeah. I do for you guys. I don't really want them to do this to me. Well, <laughs> I guess I need a checkup. I mean, I guess my hands are sweating, like sweating. I'm like. <sighs> been waiting here for a while now like inside the room it's been the longest wait and i really have to pee but i feel that it might make me pee in the cup to see if i'm pregnant because i know sometimes they do that i don't know what's taking so long our appointment was a good maybe almost an hour ago the doctor still hasn't seen us gordo's gonna go ask that's good to be much longer because we have we have stuff to do, so... We do. Um, yeah. She's with a patient right now, so I would give that another five, seven minutes. We'll knock and we'll let her know that you guys... You guys are literally next, so it's just a matter of her finishing up with that. Five, seven minutes? Yeah. Okay, because we've been waiting already for almost an hour, so... Oh, well, she was filling out the form, so we're we'll yeah. putting her in. Yeah, that's probably what took the longest. Um, we'll knock and we'll let her know. Okay. You guys Thank you. Me, okay? She says five to seven minutes. Five to seven? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, well, let's start the clock and see. There's so many noises outside and it's not her ever. Like, what? Okay. Alright, very good. Uh, so we'll remind you next year. So that way you continue your 
So that was an experience. Uh, apparently a hoe. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll tell you guys all about it when we get home. Oh gosh. All right, you guys. So this doctor. Oh my gosh. So there were a lot of things that happened that you guys maybe didn't see too well. So I'm just going to kind of try and sum everything up for you. And the first thing that was really strange to me was the paperwork. It took forever. They gave me so much paperwork. And they gave me paperwork for things that they were supposed to have told me and given me that they didn't tell me. Like their privacy notice. I looked for that thing everywhere. And I was supposed to sign like, oh, they gave me their privacy notice. But they never gave me that privacy notice. So I don't know. I signed it because they told me like you have to sign it before I went into the appointment. But there was the privacy notice. But all right. And then the wait was so long. Long, it got to a point where it was just disrespectful. We were there for almost an hour and a half waiting on this doctor. And we were thinking we would have to leave because I thought our appointment was going to be so long because since she had taken such a long time with the other patient, I was like, well, I'm guessing like this doctor just takes a really long time with patients. No, she was so quick with us. I'm not even sure if she was actually with the patient because they kept opening the same door over and over. So I think maybe that was her office. I'm not sure. That's just my theory. But when Gordo asked, they said she was with another patient but that she would be right with us and then there was a really long wait still after that so i don't know i don't know what she was doing so the actual doctor i read some reviews that she didn't apologize when she came in after making you wait forever and she did apologize to us i mean she didn't seem like oh i'm so sorry she was just like sorry whatever but i have to agree with the reviews that her bedside manner sucks i mean i felt so judged by that doctor i felt like i said like a, like a hook so she was just very cold she just asked questions and she was just just like you know doctors are usually like oh here because you know it's something uncomfortable you're naked in front of a stranger that's gonna look up your vagina you want somebody that's like oh okay i mean it's obviously just a professional and basically a transaction for them but to you it's not so they most of the time try to make you feel like you're at ease but not this doctor so when i really felt uncomfortable slash embarrassed was when she asked if i was on birth control and i said no and here's okay guys <laughs> this doctor i felt that she basically shamed me so she said that i really needed to get on birth control if i didn't want to get an std and she told me that i needed to get the this test because that was the only way for me to know that I didn't have an STD and I was just like girl I mean I went in there with my husband I put down that I was married and we were both in that room I don't know why the first thing that she assumed was that I was like sleeping around with all these men and I was about to get an STD that I needed to she was like you need to wear condoms which is really strange because other times I've been to the OBGYN they asked me you know when are you guys gonna have babies but this doctor I mean that didn't even cross her mind she didn't think like oh maybe they want to have a baby she was just like no you need to get on birth control now and get checked because you probably have an STD. So it was just really uncomfortable. And then she kept talking about the STDs. And then while she was like down there looking, she was like, yeah, you really need to get tested. And then I'm going to give you a little book and you can show it to your friends, <laughs> like your home friends. <laughs> I mean, I think she meant well. It's just, I don't know. She needed to, to read the room, read the sheet I filled out, something. Because it was just really awkward. Like I said, if a 27-year-old married woman walks in with her husband and she tells you, no, I'm not on birth control, I feel like the first thing you assume is not, oh, well, I mean, she must be sleeping around. She must have an STD. That's the only reason why she would not be on birth control. At least for me, the first thing I would think is, okay, they're probably trying to have a baby. But I don't know, it made me really uncomfortable also because of the way she was saying it. It was just like, get checked now because you are messing up, you're alive, you, you're just doing everything wrong. And then when she checked me down on there, it was not a nice experience. I mean, that procedure, I've had it before, like that test. I always know you're gonna feel a little bit of pressure. I know like this is gonna happen, but I know that because the doctor is telling me like, okay, this is what's gonna happen right now. But this woman was not telling me anything. She was just like doing her thing. I mean, just like, she just went right for it. And there was a moment where you could see in my face that I was uncomfortable because I was like, I don't know what's gonna happen. And then that's why she started telling me like, oh, I'm gonna feel your cervix or whatever she was doing. So yeah, this is one of those times that I do agree with the reviews. Sometimes I agree, sometimes I don't. When I went to the one star rated massage place, I definitely did not agree. That spa was bomb. If you guys don't have watched that video, I will leave a link for you guys to watch it. But yeah, you guys, I have made a ton of these videos. So I will leave links for you guys to watch. When I went to the worst rated hair salon, worst 
worst rated brow salon, worst rated makeup artist. We have done a bunch. So guys, I'm gonna leave all of those links now that you finish watching this video. And guys, I also want to let you know I am changing our upload schedule. So now I'm gonna be posting new videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So be on the lookout for a new video coming Monday and then also a new one coming on Wednesday and then another one coming on Friday. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.